What is the hypostatic union? Hypostatic, from the original Koine Greek word hypostasis, simply means substance. The hypostatic union are two distinct natures of Jesus, the divine and the human, in union under the one hypostasis or personhood of Christ. Now, the Miophysite position is going to differ here, but that is a whole other story. The two natures are united synthetically. It does not mean they become a new thing. They retain their properties and identity. The divine does not become limited, nor does the humanity become unlimited. Christ is a theanthropic divine human and not mixed. The Chalcedonian Creed states two natures unconfusedly, unchangeably, indivisibly, inseparably, the difference of the natures being in no way removed because of the union, but rather the properties of each nature being preserved and both concurring in one person and one hypostasis, not as though he was parted or divided into two persons, but one and the selfsame Son and only begotten God, Word, Lord, Jesus Christ. In Matthew 4, 2, we see a reflection of Jesus' human nature, as we know the divine nature does not get hungry. In Mark chapter 2, we see Jesus forgive sin. This shocked the scribes so much that they said he is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? This is a reflection of the divine nature as Jesus is claiming authority to forgive sins. Note that these examples are not meant to separate Jesus' actions into human and divine categories, but to illustrate the coexistence of both natures in the person of Christ as emphasized by the hypostatic union. Now, the low effort objective by Muslims and anti-Trinitarians is that divinity and humanity have contradictory properties, therefore Christ cannot simultaneously be God and man. It's not a contradiction. The hypostatic union already answers this. It's simply just ignorance of our position. To give an analogy, man consists of two substances, the body and the soul, the infinite together with the finite, the immaterial soul together with the material body, constituting one being. Just as divinity and humanity coexist in the one person of Christ, retaining their own individual properties without contradiction. Unless you are a full-blown materialist, which most people, including Muslims, are not, you cannot reject this. Your objection would be self-refuting. To conclude, St. Leo's Tome, Letter 28, explains the hypostatic union perfectly. He writes, each form acts in cooperation with the other. According to its own nature, the activity of the word is that which is appropriate to the word, and the flesh carries out that which is appropriate to it. One of these is ablaze with miracles, the other is overcome by injuries. As the word does not cease to be on an equality with the glory of the Father, so the flesh does not cease to belong to the nature of our race. For it must always be said that the one and the same Jesus is truly Son of God and truly Son of Man.